For those of you who have been following my channel recently, you are probably aware of the Two Mind Condot 7Z saga which I've been covering. This is a mysterious archive that was uploaded to the public Minecraft website back in 2011. It's password protected, and the story surrounding it is quite fascinating, including Mojang swapping out the original file for a decoy. I'm not going to attempt to summarize the history here, as it's far too complicated for this introduction. Instead, watch the playlist link below if you're curious. After the release of my first video, more information was found which led to a second video. Just a day later, a Mojang developer named Dinnerbone provided an extensive question and answer session, which meant that I had to make a third video on the topic. And now, after all that, we've reached the ultimate conclusion of the 2 minecondot 7 z saga. The password has been found. A user named Doge from the fan club Discord was able to do it. Let's take a look at their explanation. What I did was super easy and required little to no know-how. In fact, it was the first thing I thought to do. So easy that Hashcat ran for one second before I had the password. I collect breaches and as such have over 4 billion unique records. So all I had to do was take only those which contain at Mojang.com and try all the associated passwords, which had already been cracked from other breaches they were in. This gave me just shy of 3,000 different records and just over 2,000 unique passwords. In the end, the password was which was associated to the email info at Mojang.com. Today, I learned from RGN that the original non-decoy file was released, so I extracted the 7z hash and this was my first attempt, a success. So what is the password? Well, here it is. BoxPig41. I'm not quite sure what this means, if anything, but it does give us the key necessary to finally, finally open to Minecon.7z. What wonders will it contain? What is in this file lost for over a decade? And, well, it contains exactly what Dinnerbone's screenshot said it did. Almost. We have two Java installers, the 1.0 server files, the Minecraft launcher, and the batch file that runs the installers. Within the .minecraft folder, we find Minecraft 1.0.0. However, there is one tiny difference. A bug related to server authentication remains, which was fixed in the final release. But beyond that, there's nothing special. It's identical. 2minecon.7z is what the Mojang developer said it was this whole time. So what about that spiel in my second video about how difficult it would be to brute force a secure password? Well, as it turned out, the 2minecon.7z password was not actually secure. It was a password that had been used elsewhere, just as Dinnerbone stated. When this password was leaked, Doge was able to use it as a guess for the archive, a guess that turned out to be accurate. And this serves as a great warning to all of you. Don't reuse passwords. It puts all of your accounts at the mercy of the website with the weakest security. Instead, you should have a different password for each account. That way, if one of your accounts has the password leaked, it can't be used to access the others. This is the critical mistake that led to the archive being opened. So there we go. With that, we can officially close the book on the 2 minecondot 7 z mystery. Thank you so much to all of you who've joined me on this journey, I had a ton of fun. I really enjoy talking to so many people who are fascinated in this, and I feel honored to have been a part of the conclusion to this decade-long mystery. I'd like to give an additional thanks to MCBYT for showing me to Minecon, to Dinnerbone for the helpful comments, and to the community for taking this idea and running with it. And if you enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe. It lets me know that I should make similar videos. We are going to end with that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day.